Hello, kids. I have borrowed Mrs. Gorman's office because I lent her my webcam a long time ago, and I decided rather than taking it off of her computer for one video, I would just borrow her office because her background's prettier than mine anyway. She's a better decorator. But what I want to talk about, third graders, is your assignment for media this week is to make a top five book list. So I'm going to show you my top five book list, and I want you to do a similar thing. You can video it. You can write it in your Google Drive and upload it. But either way, in the assignment, you have to give me a top five list. And then I'm going to put a discussion board because I want you to discuss whether you think my top five list is good or not. And I would not mind it if you were to talk about what ones are on your top five list. So top five list for third graders this year. Number one, anything by Kate DiCamillo. I have The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane in my hands. I think that's a great one to start with, but I love Kate DiCamillo, and I think anything she's written is probably great for a third grader. So, number one on my top five list, Kate DiCamillo. Number two, The Princess Hamster series. This one is relatively new, and it's not too hard for most third graders. It's got some great pictures. And so this is number two on my top five list because I think you will enjoy it, especially if you're a girl. But you know what? Boys can like Princess Hamster, too, if they want to. It's based on fairy tales. We all like fairy tales. I think lots of people would enjoy it. Okay, number three on my top five list. You'll notice I'm sticking quite a few series in here because I think third grade is a great time to get hooked on a good series and then just read lots of books you like. So the third one is anything that is in the Judy Moody and Stink series. This one is Mad, Mad, Mad Treasure Hunt, which I think is a really funny one. But once again, great for third grade, nice pictures, chapter book. I think you would love it. Funny, enjoyable, number three on my top five list. All right. Number four on my top five list is the Captain Awesome series. Now, this one has more about like sports and scary things. So if you like sports and scary things, you know, once again, boys or girls can like sports and scary things. Captain Awesome, good series. Also funny. I think funny is kind of a theme here because I like funny. But this one is number four on my top five list. And number five is the Amber Brown series. This one's kind of an oldie but goodie. And maybe not as funny as some of the other ones, but fun. Also has pictures, has its jokes. Paula Danzinger is also a very good author. So Amber Brown, that is my pick number five. So now my question to you is, what are your top five and why? So you can write it. You can record it, but I need it in Schoology by the end of next week.